Auto menu channel Auto channel so we can search for the channel outside. Okay? okay. Your radio is completely independent from the one inside. All right. So you okay. can listen whatever you want outside, and nothing's gonna be inside. Okay. Okay. Uh, this one it's a DVD. Okay. So it's connected to the TV. All you need to open this. Pull the CD out, put the CD, and you can watch a movie on the, t on the TV. Oh, okay. So okay. it's a radio and DVD player. It's a radio and DVD, yes. Uh, to listen to the TV, we're going to go to mode, aux. That's going to take you the sound from the TV to the speakers. Okay, it needs to be an aux. An auxiliary. Okay? okay. TV comes out. Huh? It turns. Okay? Goes back. It's hauled by magnets, mm -hmm. so it's not going to move. It's, gonna, it's not going to go anywhere. When Drive. Okay, that's good. Okay, so that finish, you go in this way. In here, we're gonna have your propane tank. Okay, all right. This is a 13 gallon propane tank. All right, holds 13 gallons of propane. Okay, so it's not a lot of propane for maybe a month or like using it every day. So, okay, if you're like, if you don't use the unit a lot, a lot so it's gonna be. What do we normally have, have for the gas the grill? You got a gas grill? Well, yeah. that little yes. girl with your camping is charcoal. No, I meant at home. What size tank? Oh, those? that's the little. That's a seven pound. That's a seven, seven pound. Okay, I just wanted to compare. Yeah, so yeah. this so. one is bigger. There's yeah. like two of those. Yeah. Two of those. Okay. Two of the little ones is right there. Okay. Okay. Nice thing. Now you can buy a gas grill. Have it here. We got a quick connection here. Okay. Okay. So you can have a gas grill here. Just plug it in, and there you go. You can have a nice barbecue outside with gas. Okay. Okay. And there's a switch to turn that gas yeah, on? Yeah, right here. So that's on, that's off. Okay. Uh, batteries, this is your house battery. Okay. This battery is a deep cycle battery. All right, so it's an RV and marine battery. Oh, okay. okay. So this battery obviously is completely different than any car because this holds the charge more. It have bigger cells, so it's going to hold the charge more. It's going to take more charges than a okay. regular car. Okay. And you have just one? Yeah, you just one. You can add the second one. Yes, you can go to a second one. So. Is there any reason to? On our camper, we had two. And uh, we had to have two. Well, this one, no, because you got the generator. So that's why they don't uh, put two batteries in this one. And it's actually a really small unit. It's not a big, big, big unit. Normally, they come with two when they're having batteries. And have the big residential fridges when it's used uh, in better that's really powerful and pulls a lot of power. Mm -hmm. That's why they have two batteries. But this one, with good, you're gonna, well, you're gonna be fine. Okay. You can actually add a second one if you guys like. Okay, so that's your TV. Okay? Okay, cool. So, image is nice. The power booster, your antenna, they're nice, so they pull actually HD channels. Oh, okay. okay so you got HD channels. Okay. So okay. there is an antenna on this? Yeah, it's a little one. It doesn't go up and down, so you don't have to worry about it. It doesn't go up and down, it just rotates. Okay. okay. So when the signal is weak, just play with it so you get more signals. Okay. Can you okay. show us how to do that, or does it do it on the off the TV? Uh, the, it's, what, I'm sorry? The set, the, the antenna. Oh, antenna. the antenna, you will see the image changing. So it's no, be do better. you have to climb up to no, move? No, 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 it's from the inside. Oh, from the inside. I will show you what is the, the, the turn. Okay. The turn okay. But the TV doesn't do it to search for a signal. You have to physically do it. So right now, for example, if we're getting a weak signal, it's like uh, the image is like caught in like that. Uh -huh. We can go inside, just start moving until you get better signal. Okay. Okay. Well, when you first turn the TV on, will it direct the antenna to wherever the signal's coming from? Uh, I recommend you doing the search channel first. So every time you change cities, you know you have to run the channels because it's different, right. different channels. Yeah. It's different antennas, so I recommend you, every time you change the city, just run the channels, and then if the signal is weak, just start turning. All right, so you keep looking for a better signal. Okay. Strength, okay? All right, uh, this one here is gonna be your hydraulic pump, okay? So this is for your jacks, okay? So you got um, four jacks. You got two in the back, two in the front, okay? Sweet. <laughs> Inside, you're gonna have a little panel. It's auto, auto level and auto retract. That's all you have to do. So when you get to, the, to your spot, just press auto level, bring the jacks, level the unit, open your slides, you're ready to go. When you're ready to leave, Close your slides, press all retract, jack retract, you can go. So you always level before you open slides? Yes. Okay. Well, uh, you will, you, you're gonna, now that you have something like this, you're gonna talk with a lot of people that have more homes, and it's really like, like, some people say, no, you have to open the slides before you bring the jacks down. 
most people say no you keep you need to bring the jacks down before you open slides so that's gonna be all right but we actually recommend first opening the slides so you can actually label the whole weight okay because okay if you have the, the slide open mm -hmm. okay it's gonna it's, change the it's, weight. it's gonna change because your, your unit is gonna do this Okay. So your, your label is not gonna be accurate. Okay. Okay. So do the jacks first before you open the slides. No. Oh. Oh. Yes. I thought you said open the slides first, then do the jacks. No. Open the. I'll bring the jacks down first and then open the slides. Okay. All right. I get the. <laughs> Well, that, that's what you said earlier. We got it on tape. So. Okay. okay. <laughs> so I, I, inside, inside, with this, your control panel, is a little sticker. Uh -huh. It's gonna tell you what I'm saying. Okay. 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 All right. So this is a hydraulic system. Uh, this one uses fluid, so it's hydraulic. is really weird and rare that this one fails. Normally, fails when you have a leak. Oh, okay. okay. If you have a leak on the system, it's gonna fail. All right, because it works with pressure. So it's losing pressure. It's not gonna bring down the slides. Uh, the, army, uh, the jacks. The, the jacks. Okay. So every time you about to leave, just check the level of the fluid. All right. You know when the jacks are up, the fluid needs to be up. Okay. okay? All right. And when the jacks go down, the fluid is gonna go lower. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, propane main valve open and close. Open to the left. Close to the right. Now, do you leave it open while you're driving? Obviously, when we park it, we'll close it. If you have this one on, on, mm -hmm. on gas, mm -hmm. if you want to drive with this with gas and not with a generator, you can have this one open. When we're driving and want the refrigerator on, you can yes, do this. Yes, you just said yes. So you do that instead of the generator. Mm -hmm. So the, the vehicle doesn't keep the refrigerator going while it's driving. No, because this only works with 110 and propane. It's not a 12 volt. It's not a 12 volt. Yes, so it's not a three way, it's just a two way. So it's just electric or propane. So if you have the generator on working so it, you can have it in 120, or you just open the propane so it works in, in gas. Okay. Okay. And then your battery here, will it recharge while the vehicle's running? Every time you drive the vehicle, it's going to charge this battery. Every time you plug in the, the, to power, it's going to charge the battery. Yeah, I knew that. And every time you use the generator, it's going to charge the battery. Okay. So every everywhere, everything that you make give power inside the unit, it's going to charge this. The only thing you have to remember, the main power needs to be on. Okay. Okay? Because, you know, it's the, if the main oh, power... the one that you turn off when you're getting gas. Exactly. So yeah, that main power sure. switch, if that main power switch is off, you're cutting the lines to the battery, so right. it's not going to charge, it's not going to do anything. So it needs okay. to be on. Alright? So when we're driving, we should open that, because it's going to keep the refrigerator cold. Correct. So we don't have to drive with the generator on right. the whole way. And then mm -hmm. ruin the generator. So you probably already said this, and I, I just, I don't know, but... So if we're getting gas, though, we should shut that? No, that's fine. That's fine? Oh, okay. Okay. No, the only thing on getting gas is shut the electric Electric, oh, electric wow. Okay, yes. sparks. Now, you, haven't, okay. you haven't said the most important thing yet. Yes. Oh. How do I feel it? Yeah. <laughs> so we open this. So we have to take, take it. it to no, some place. you take it, uh, well, I know, Home Depot, I think. Oh. Uh, no, yeah, Home Depot. I think Costco. They have the big tanks outside. I think okay. they're going to fill it for you. Ace. Mm -hmm. Ace, have uh, Ace or uh, the campgrounds too. You uh -huh. will see a lot of campgrounds with a big tank outside. Yeah. They fill it for you. And they have the hose. You don't have a... They have the hose, yes. Okay. They have a big hose. Like I mean, tanks. I used to take my tanks to Ace and have yeah. them filled and then put them back on my camper. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I but this one is different. Now you have to take the whole thing. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. Yeah. But don't worry, it's you're gonna, gonna get used to it. Actually, yeah. like I say, when you get to the campgrounds, normally they have the big tanks outside, and they're gonna fill it for you. Okay. They did it in Montana and yeah. the mountains. And is there um, a gauge or something so you know how much you got? Right. That's the gauge. Okay. All right. So you got two gauges. You have one here and one inside. And one inside. Okay. okay. This is uh, obviously more analog, and the other one is like digital. Okay. So it tells you. How you doing with the propane? Okay. Okay. But it'll tell if you're less than half or. Exactly. So when you're using it, it's gonna just keep going down. Yeah. Uh, never go to full like, like, well he. he, he didn't. He didn't go all the way to full. But try to fill it to three fourths. Okay. Okay. Because you know the tanks. That's, that's good to know. It needs to have eighty percent of the tank full. If you go higher, it's gonna freeze the whole tank. Yes. Oh so wow. So that's why because it needs the, the space for expansion too. When it gets hot, this one is gonna the gas is gonna expand. Ooh. Okay, so it's better to have it in eighty percent. Okay. okay. Three fourths is the right place to be. Okay. Okay. So if we're filling it somewhere, the campground they'll probably know that, but just let them know only fill the half or three quarters. Uh, three quarters. Yeah. So okay. when you get anywhere, just tell them the line before full. Okay. And you're gonna be good. Okay. Okay. Actually, it stops. Actually, have a safety valve that stops and oh, not gonna let. 
put more. So you got that on right now? Uh, yeah, it's on. So I can show you the stove and okay. all this stuff. Okay. Keep going this way. Water heater. This is, let me guess, uh, this is a nice a six gallon water heater. Yeah. You got a six gallon water heater. This is electric and propane. Okay. So this one works with electric or propane. I think you have one like this. Or, I don't on the camper. Yeah. yeah, on the camper. So you know, you got the drain right here so you can drain the water. Every time you finish using it, I recommend you to take that plug out. So let all the water out. So the next trip, you know how to have that yeah. pretty weird smell in the water. Yeah. So that uh, pressure relief valve. So this one basically is for when you see water dripping from here, that means you have too much water on the tank. So that's why it's dripping. So it needs the air pocket to push the water down. Okay. okay? Uh, switches are inside. Uh, you can choose between electric and propane. Electric need 110, propane just a spark and the propane open. Okay, so this recommendation is when you're not a campground, use electric. Yeah. Because you're not paying electric, electricity. Right. So, right. And save you propane. Right. Okay. The same with this. Okay. The same. The same thing. When so you plug down the campground, switch have it an over electric. To the Actually, this one have the auto. Oh, auto nice. settings inside. Yeah. So when you have it in auto, every time you plug it in or turn the generator on, it's gonna automatically jump in prop uh, electric. And when you unplug or turn the propane, uh, the generator off, automatically it's gonna jump to propane. Now, does this fill automatically when you go to yes. use it? Mm -hmm. So I mean, I don't need to fill it oh, before we Yes, over there. You remember you have the blue, the green, the red, the white. All right, the, the red one is for the generator, uh, for the water heater. Okay. So when you turn one side, it's gonna close. That's bypassing the water heater, so you can actually do the winterize. Okay. But all the other ones, it's up and down, uh -huh. all the other settings. Yes, so all the settings, just remember that the red one is going to be just for the water heater. But okay. Just follow the picture and you're going to be fine. Okay. Compartments, these two are the big compartments, they go to the other side. Okay. Nope, this light is on. You can turn all the lights off. 